coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Electra Trainer impresses during maiden flight. Top Gun Maverick soars past $1 billion. AEA's pilot guide to debut at Oshkosh. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Electra Trainer impresses during maiden flight. Electra Solar has successfully test flown the Electra Trainer, the company's two seat electric ultralight aircraft. With test pilot Uwe Nortmann at the controls, the Electra Trainer prototype departed Memmingen International Airport in southern Germany on June 29th. The aircraft rose silently and stands emissions after an impressively brief 100 meter takeoff roll and climbed at a brisk 8 meters per second and remained aloft for 20 minutes. At altitude, the Electra Trainer operated in a low cruise mode that drew only about 10 kilowatts of power. Upon landing, Herr Nortman remarked favorably of the aircraft, stating it exceeded the expectations of the developers. The Electra Trainer was designed to meet the needs of flight schools and flight clubs. Its low operating cost of less than 60 euros per hour is about half that of a traditional ultralight aircraft. The model also marks the advent of Electra Solar's digital aircraft platform, a proprietary infrastructure that facilitates preventative maintenance by automatically monitoring the systems of in-flight aircraft and uploading the data to a cloud-based network where it's analyzed with the help of AI algorithms. Having completed its maiden flight, the Electra Trainer will now begin certification flight testing with an eye toward receiving German UL certification by the end of this year. After the break, Virgin Orbit scores another successful launch. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Virgin Orbit scores another successful launch. Virgin Orbit is reporting a successful outcome for its fourth consecutive satellite launch mission. This launch named Straight Up carried seven satellites to low Earth orbit for the United States Space Force who procured this launch for the Rocket Systems Launch Program with payloads provided by the Department of Defense Space Test Program. In support of its mission partners, Virgin Orbit has now delivered a total of 33 satellites to orbit with 100% mission success. Historic B-29 Dock adds Milwaukee Air and Water Show to this month's schedule. The B-29 Dock History Restored Tour will make a stop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, July 21st through 24th. In addition to having B-29 Dock flight experiences available, Dock will also be an air show performer at the Milwaukee Air and Water Show. B-29 Dock will arrive in Milwaukee Wednesday, July 20th, and will host B-29 Dock Flight Experience Rise July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. USAF AC-130J Crews Awarded 2021 McKay Trophy A pair of AC-130J Ghost Rider Crews has been awarded the 2021 McKay Trophy, an honor bestowed by the Air Force and the NAA upon those aviators deemed to have accomplished the year's most meritorious flight. The trophy acknowledges the recipient crew's actions during the frantic retreat from the country amid the storming of the Afghani capital city. Two AC-130Js, call signs Shadow 77 and 78, alert launched from Al-Dafra Air Base in the United Arab Emirates for purpose of providing close air support for the evacuating personnel. Special Mission Citation Longitude Delivered to JCAB 
Textron has delivered a special mission Citation Longitude fitted with flight inspection calibration equipment to be operated by the Japan Civil Aviation Bureau. The aircraft will conduct flight validation and flight inspection operations to ensure the integrity of the airways that constitute the national airspace of Japan. The JCAB Longitude is outfitted with the Unifis 3000 G2 flight inspection equipment to perform critical verification of navigation aids such as instrument landing system category 1, 2, and 3 approaches, ground-based augmentation system, VOR, TACAN, and much more. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Top Gun Maverick soars past $1 billion. Top Gun Maverick, the sequel to the 1986 blockbuster that established Tom Cruise as an international action star, surpassed $1 billion in worldwide box office earnings, so says the film's maker, Paramount Studios. In a career spanning north of 40 years, Cruise has put up some big numbers. Neither Interview with a Vampire, A Few Good Men, The Firm, Jerry Maguire, Rain Man, nor the Mission Impossible franchise were box office slouches, but none powered past the billion-dollar milestone as Maverick has. In a rare instance of concordance, critics have added their enthusiasm to that of Maverick's audiences. The film, in which protagonist Pete Maverick Mitchell guides a gaggle of Generation Z megalomaniacs from idiocy to mere stupidity, has a dazzling 97% score on Rotten Tomatoes. To date, Maverick has bagged more than $520 million domestically and more than $468 million overseas. It's the 50th film in history to earn more than $1 billion at the global box office, not accounting for inflation, and only the second movie of the pandemic era to surpass the lofty mark, joining last December's Spider-Man No Way Home. After these messages, Aircraft Electronics Association's Pilot's Guide to debut at Oshkosh. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. AEA's pilot guide to debut at Oshkosh. Aircraft owners, operators, and pilots will be pleased to learn the 20th annual edition of the Aircraft Electronics Association's Pilot's Guide, a consumer's directory comprising timely information and data about the ever-changing world of avionics technologies, will see its initial distribution at this year's EAA AirVenture in Oshkosh. The publication is intended to help pilots and aircraft owners make better buying decisions and locate nearly 1,300 AEA member companies in more than 40 countries, including government-certified repair stations specializing in maintenance, repair, and installation of avionics and electronic systems in general aviation aircraft. The tome also includes listings of the manufacturers and distributors of these products, as well as technical schools and universities, engineers, and consultants for the industry. In addition to the initial distribution at AirVenture, thousands of copies of the work will be distributed at several industry trade shows and to all AEA member companies at no charge. The 2022 Aircraft Electronic Association's Pilot's Guide will be available in print, digital, and mobile and app formats. AEA President Mike Adamson said of his association's publication, quote, The Pilot's Guide is a lifeline to the technical experts in the avionics industry who can help pilots make informed avionics decisions based on budget, compatibility, integration, certification, whole value, and more." End quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!